I think anyone who goes into medicine, you go into it with this view that you want to do everything possible to help a patient and to help a family. And for me, that's a big component of advocacy. Um, if I talk to some of my colleagues who've been oncologists for longer than me, they'll tell you that drug shortages have been around forever. And so I've been at this for 20 years now. and. Over the last few years, I've sat with patients and families and had to say, we don't have access to that drug right now. And these are inexpensive drugs. You know, we have the drugs that are $20,000 that are easily accessible, but are much cheaper drugs we don't have. And so I think the noise just reached a certain volume in the past year where people are paying attention. Um, and a lot of our advocacy efforts when we go to Congress uh, has been focused on this. I'm, I'm not a pediatric doctor, but some of these drugs that keep popping up under shortage, they are drugs that are used for curative intent treatment for children with cancer. And how do we say that we deliver world-class care and the best cancer care when we have children in our country who can't receive appropriate care for curable intent cancer? That's unreal to me.